Welcome back to the and today we're playing Planet Coaster. Very well, we're gonna be playing it. We're just gonna be um, looking at this park. Um, no, it's quite loud over there. Here, let's go. Let's come on out. So this is a completely indoor park. Um, this park I've been working on for years. It's just been kind of an on and off project, but I finished it fairly recently. And so the park part that I did recently was this whole entire area with our Gershlaw Infinity Coaster. There's a total of four or three coasters, one dark ride in here, and then a couple different flats, and also the roof of the park. But here is the main entrance coming on in here. Um, this was all entirely designed to be looked at through the people's perspective, so we can do this cool trick called Plip Cam there and now we're just one of the people so we have the veteran carousel just simple carousel um, everything is also themed guest relations tickets and stuff is all in here come on into here we have a roller house and this is a family coaster it's themed to just kind of um, just mysterious stuff kind of thing witchcraft it's kind of just to spook you and here we are so uh, this is a zero Tivoli as you can hear it's going but let's take a ride for it and then I'll meet back up y'all right after So that was Roller House. Coming on out, in front of us is the carousel, and on the left of us is all the way down to the back half of the park. On the right, we have a little food unit here. Let's grab and go, and then we have a little band playing over here. On the right, we have the chair swing, and then on the left, we have a flat ride. We aren't going to go for a ride on it, but we'll go through the queue. This is just a whip. Um, yeah, pretty much that's just it. Here it is. There's theming all around it. Coming on out here. This whole park is also themed to pirates. It's supposed to be like a pirate village. We got a little sweet shop. And then a gift shop over here. Uh, coming out of there. Have the exit to the swings. And then we come to our left. And this is our spinning coaster. Come on through the queue. Nice big queue. And then there is lockers. These are just double side lockers. Just makes the loading process a whole lot easier. But let's go for a ride. Um, this is themed to a fight happening on the shore of the town. But let's go for a ride and I'll see you after.
All right, so that was our Gershlauer spinner. There is a maintenance area back here. Just simple stuff, it's nice and hidden. And that comes out here, here's the exit to the rod. There's the other side of the lockers. Coming on out, we, on our left, goes out to the boardwalk. That we'll come back to. But for right now, we're gonna come down this way. This is the exit to our Rocktopus ride, which the entrance to that is right here. It's called Octo Attack. It's pretty much just octopus stuff. It's all throughout here, but the, the guests do go through the store here. On the left, we have our drop tower, which is called the Drop Gardens. And this just go through some gardens and stuff like that. And it's nice. And also, all the roll codes, did forget to mention this, are based on real life versions of them that are pre made from their manufacturer. But here is our drop tower. Um, this is the one flat right I will have us go on. So, uh, just because this is center park, you can see pretty much everything. But uh, let's go for a ride, and I'll see you after. Alright, so that was Drop um, drop Gardens, or Drop Tower. Um, coming out to here, over here is our carousel, and then we do have some more shows going on over here. Side side to our um, band, and then we also have a clock tower in here with an ATM. Coming on down here, we have another gift shop, but that will go over in a little bit. We have the exit to our pendulum ride. Um, we have our roller rig, and then this is our second entrance, and also on the right is our food unit. This is for exiting the park, guest services, tickets, all that stuff is over there. And then we have town fight. And so this is a fight inside, like, center of the town. This is the queue for it. And then here is our ride, and this is a Gershlauer Air Fighter. But, well, I mean, you may have been able to see it as we've walked over here, but, um, we'll go for a ride on it, and then I'll meet back up with y'all after. Alrighty, so that was the Gershlauer Eurofighter called Town Fight. Um, 
can't exactly get across, but here is the maintenance area for it. There is an access to the outside right there. And then coming on out of here, got some more scenery. Do just have the queue and exit separated. Got uh, don't die fencing too. And coming in here, this is our gift shop that I was just talking about. This stuff, also all the gift shops in here are completely decorated. Coming on down here, on the left we do have our pendulum ride. Come into our queue, got all this stuff. Tons of lighting, this is also being done at night, so this way the lighting all pops. And here is our pendulum, not going to go for a ride on it, but you can see it. And then coming on into here, exit to the Whirly Rig. And then coming on down here, we have a nice little fountain here. This is our dark ride entrance right here. But first, we do have our gift shop here. And then we do have our boat ride. All stuff like that. And also, if, like for the drop tower, the boat's in the water over there. And also the boat ride right here. I did make the roof go up, so this way they could actually fit without going through the roof. But, let's go on our dark ride. So, coming through the queue, got a bunch of different stuff, and this dark ride is about a, um, uh, two uh, pirate ships fighting each other, and then one going back to their fortress, and one breaking into their, or no. Sorry, it's about a fortress getting attacked by some pirates. With also some pirates escaping on boats. Out of backwards. But, here we go. Here's a ride. We got to drop off for some items. End of our rides over there. And then here it is. So let's go for a ride, and I'll see y'all right after. Alrighty, so that was our dark ride coming out. We have our gift shop fully furnished and all that stuff, just like the rest. And then on our left, we have a restaurant. And then coming along here is the end of the boardwalk, but we do have some different um, uh, claw machines and little vending machines along the right side. And also some stuff happening. Then we got some decorations, different items over here. Coming on down to here. You wouldn't be able to access these docks down there, but they would leave it open, so that's why it looks right. There's that big power chip I was talking about earlier, and then this is just kind of a place you can walk, sit down, just like those guys. They're just going to walk on through, sit down, maybe look out, look out at the boat. That's exactly what they're doing. Coming on over to here, we got bathrooms, and then we're right back to Octo Attack. And that is the entire park. If we go out of flip game, you can see we've gone over literally everything. Um, you can definitely see the differences in between from where I started, which was over here, to where it ended here in terms of the quality of the build. But, this has been a long project for, of mine. I think this has been going on since 2021 or 2020. I honestly forget. It's been on and off, like I said in the beginning. But, now that we do know the official release date of Planet Coaster 2, I will be starting a new series. It's going to be a very tiny one. It's going to be a small little family park. Um, 
but that will start to do an absolute or two depends like how we were doing it over the next couple of weeks until we get up to Planet Coaster 2 and then we'll start doing a series on that which I'm definitely really excited for Planet Coaster 2. I do have the pre-order in already for it and um, hope to get some stuff done on day one of its release. But do hope you enjoyed this video and if you have made sure to like and subscribe and do see you next one. Bye!